again, I just want to echo some of the very important words that you've hear, heard here today from all of this leadership. Please do what they say. And as someone said, there's a good reason for why they're recommending what they do. What I want to talk about just very, very briefly is price gouging. I think a lot of folks have been getting a lot of phone calls. We've established a hotline out of our office. Um, it's 305-547-3300. And the way this works is the minute the governor of the state of Florida declares Florida a state of emergency, which he did earlier this week, it triggers state statutes that deal with civil remedies, and it deals with a local ordinance that provides for criminal actions where people can be held accountable. Now, while most of the people in the state of Florida are good, hardworking, giving, wonderful people that may want to assist with products and help a neighbor, we also know that there are charlatans in this world and there are carpetbaggers who will come and prey on people who are thirsty, desperate, and in need. So what we're doing locally is our office is working with uh, the director, Juan Perez, who's here from the Metro Dade Police Department. Every call that comes in will be staffed 24-7 until further notice. You can call, you can ask questions. Um, we have investigators that will go out, we'll talk whether it's a retailer or it's someone on a street corner trying to sell generators that normally would sell for around $250 for $1,000. You need to call us because they're taking advantage. They're abusing you and potentially others. Now, what is not covered by Prouse gouging is minor increases. For instance, we know the gas prices went up as a result of what was happening in Texas. And so there's going to be some increases in prices to get things here expeditiously, despite the best efforts of the governor and our, and our federal leadership. It's just going to be difficult to be able to do it for exactly the same cost as before. However, if the price increase is excessive, the law actually says grossly exceeds the average price of certain commodities, then you're probably looking at price gouging. And if someone is doing that, they are looking at potentially being arrested and going to jail. Our courts may be closed, but our jails are not closed. And let me just tell you what kinds of commodities are covered. For instance, it's, it's things such as food, water, ice, chemicals, petroleum products such as gasoline, which is primarily the complaints we get about the most. It includes propane glass, gas as well, lumber, plywood. I mentioned the generators. We saw that happen after the last event. And clearly, if someone's on a street corner trying to sell you a generator at three times the price, you need to call us. You need to call the police. Um, airline tickets have reached a, a, a high. We've had a lot of complaints. The director and I were talking about it earlier. Um, we have a plan to reach out to some of those retailers and see if we can't talk with them. Uh, we've been working with all the other major retailers in Florida, Home Depot, Walmart. They're just great um, business folks and they want to contribute and they want to help in, in, this, in this undertaking. Um, I, I also want to remind you of the number once again, all of you in the meeting, if you please put that up, it's 305-547-3300.